with the Hampton Academy renovation. We are going forward to, with that. That's going to be uh, a warrant article. Uh, I believe the cost, I don't have the exact figure, but it is uh, about 26? 25.9. 25.9 million, million dollars. And uh, that's a lot of money. We understand that. And we understand that you folks may have some significant warrant articles also. But the facility is outdated. It doesn't meet the kids' needs. It, it's it, This is the cheapest way that we can renovate that building. And we're hoping that people don't kick the can down the road because, um, again, it's just not going to go away. Uh, I'll pass these out to you folks. Just sure. So I'm sure in addition to what we're passing out to you now, there will be a lot of discourse in the coming months about this. We urge people to ask questions, contact the superintendent uh, if they do have questions. I will say that there were approximately 30, 35 people from all uh, cross-section of Hampton. Selectman Waddell was on the committee. Uh, there were people representing uh, the PTO, people representing parents. There were people who were against the project on the committee. And uh, when it was all said and done, uh, people were, I'd say, unanimously in agreement to go forward with this project. And, and this is, this is a ma major renovation. Good luck on your school project. Yeah, thank you. I know you were close last year. Yes, very close. And uh, we'll be talking up in Concord with the delegation. And there is a, uh, um, a movement up there that uh, debases our revenue system here in town. And it's uh, done, uh, and it's expensive. I'll be talking later on this evening where in the last three years it's been over a million dollars. And uh, that bonds a lot of uh, programs. We're looking at uh, our uh, Warren articles tonight. Uh, legislators up there don't get the message. Um, one faction says we can't do new taxes, but they will vote to give what some would call crony capitalist uh, tax deductions. Uh, the same companies that are taking us to court for valuations, same corporations that set precedent on a poll where the bottom half and the top half, however you look at it, is set at a different rate. And uh, we'll be addressing those issues because there's a lot of our money um, that is taken from us. Uh, and it stays up in Concord, so we'll be fighting that fight. And uh, the more that we can keep here, it's fair and honest, uh, the better you folks will be doing on the school side of the house. And we wish you luck. And uh, I don't speak for the board, but we support you. And the better the municipal side will be doing. But thank you for the great work. Thank you for your leadership and a great school system. Just a comment. I did attend a legislative, he he um, a legislative forum, I guess, in Exeter um, uh, two weeks ago. And there were a number of legislators there, and I had an opportunity. They allowed me to speak to the um, the uh, school building aid, and um, I was told by a number of legislators that there would be some bills um, in session this time on school building aid, and that there was a uh, an openness to really going back and looking at that building aid. So. Um, I want you to know that um, the board decided to go ahead and we've already uh, submitted an application. Now we realize that that's a bit presumptuous, however we felt that if we were aggressive and we showed our, our desire for, for some of the building aid money that at least our, our application would be at the top of the pile. Um, and given the, the gravity and needs over at Hampton Academy, I think we can prove that. So with your support up there, I think it would be very helpful. Thank you. Jim, you had something? No, I just wanted to, I mean, I am the selectman's representative on the, the school building committee there. And, you know, I support totally what they've been talking about here. You know, we, we're talking about a 21st century education being taught in a 19th century <laughs> building. And the teachers there are doing a phenomenal job teaching 21st century, and the, the facilities people are doing a phenomenal job keeping it up. But I think it's time that we take a look at it and decide that we're going to do something with that building and move forward with the, with the school. I mean, it is the 21st century. We are a town 
that wants to support their students, and we need to do more of that. On the safe streets to school is safe. I agree with that 200 um, percent. I mean, it, it's such a shame. My granddaughter, who lives on the west side of the highway, goes to center school and loves to walk to school on Fridays. And I'm just in a panic every time that she walks to school, she and her friends, because they have to cross Route 1 there. And it, it, it just, it, you know, what are we thinking? You know, you had students, you want students to walk, you don't want everybody on a bus, you want people to get exercise, and then you have a, a terribly unfriendly pedestrian area. So I support those 100%. And I think the town needs to look at it, citizens need to look at it. Yeah, as far as the safe routes to school, 100% I agree with Jim. You know, I dropped my niece off at Center, and now she's at Marston, and I mean, when I pick her up, I'm getting there like 20, 25 minutes early just so I don't need to deal with it, never mind when it gets busy and the buses start coming in. And as far as what um, Superintendent Murphy said, I don't think you're being presumptive at all. I say go and get go for it, because I think that... Uh, we need to start doing that as a town. We need to figure out what our priorities are, what we need to get done, and we need to go after and get the aid for that. So I commend you. We will be there uh, with our voices uh, to be heard. Um, the board has asked um, uh, Nathan and I um, to be present at any hearings so that we can share um, the what Hampton needs. And I'm somewhat accustomed to testifying there, so. I feel like I know the ropes a little bit, and um, we'll be able to uh, spread the word about the needs in Hampton because it, it's. T I, I agree. It, it is time for that building. It, it's. If it isn't this year, then we have to really rethink about what we will do with the roof. I mean, I've been kind of saying we'll hold off on the roof, you know, and because it's cheaper to do these things in, in whole than it is piecemeal. We've already done that. We went through that, and I think by by looking at the whole project, it's cheaper in the long run, but I, I don't think that I can tell the board to hold off anymore. I can't, I can't do that anymore with air, air quality, things like air quality, like the roof system, like major drainage there, just simple drainage. The reason why we have leaks in, on the flat roof is because the drainage is all backed up. So we have major issues there that we have to take care of and to piecemeal it, it will cost our, community more money in the long run than it would if we I know it's that price tag is a lot but over the course of a 20 I think that's a 25 year bond this time they went with a 25 instead of a 20 sort of lengthen it out more people paying for it over time um, will help bring that cost down a little bit to also for the folks in town excellent do I sound passionate about this project I'm <laughs> a little sorry. bit just I a little bit but that's good 